So what is insulin and what does it do in the body? So insulin is a hormone and as a hormone it's part of our endocrine system. Now this hormone is really important to know about because it's going to come up in your level 3 anatomy and physiology exam. It's going to be referenced to in your nutrition and it's also going to come up when you start working with clients with diabetes so that involves doing your exercise referral or your level 4 obesity and diabetes. So it's going to be apparent the whole way through. It's not one you can kind of put a joker card on and go I don't need to know about that one. You're going to need to know about it. So what is it and what does it do? As a hormone, it is secreted from our pancreas. So it's a good one to remember. Make sure it's from the pancreas. Now, its job is to basically open up, be like a key. So it unlocks these cells, allows us to then move energy from our bloodstream into various cells. Now, that's a really handy thing to do because we don't want to just eat food and then it just float around our blood forever. We then need to be able to move it from our blood into the cells where we actually need it. So, for example, we eat carbohydrate and that then, when it's floating around in our blood, becomes glucose. So we know that carbohydrate, when it's floating around in our blood, is glucose. It's a little ball um, of glucose, one cell. Now, that can't get in to any of these um, lovely cells over here, fat cells, muscle or liver, can't go anywhere unless insulin unlocks the key, unlocks that, that lock, is the key to unlock those doors into each of these. So insulin comes along, it's secreted by the pancreas, and it's secreted by the pancreas when we have a, ra a raise of glucose. We get more and more glucose in our blood, and our body goes, ah, something's not right here, I need to secrete some, pancreas, secrete some insulin from the pancreas. So it secretes some insulin, and this insulin floats around for a little bit and then it opens up the doorway and carries its glucose into the cells. Now, if we've been fairly depleted, maybe we've been exercising, it's going to fill up these muscle cells first. And when it actually moves into there, it doesn't stay as glucose anymore. It becomes glycogen. Now, it's stored glycogen in our muscle, ready for when we want to use it again. But if our muscle cells get totally full then it will put the rest of the glucose in some liver cells. If that's totally full, then it's, gonna, it's got an unlimited supply to store it in our fat cells. And it has to go through another complicated conversion to store it in as fat, but basically it will store it as a triglyceride in our fat cells. And that's unlimited amount of space because you can just keep on growing those fat cells. Now, that's something about uh, sort of energy storage, really, to be honest, but all of these insulin is basically its job is to pick up the glucose and transport it into the relevant cells and turn that glucose into glycogen when it hits the muscle and the liver. Now, now you have it stored, then it's a role of a different hormone to be able to release it from the muscle and the liver and the fat cells. And that's going to be a glucagon. So it becomes gone from our, our cells and back into our blood. So then if we want to get it back, glucagon, glucagon, um, then is the hormone that will push it right, take the glucose back out and then allow it to be glucose again back in our blood. So insulin takes it in, insulin takes it in, and glucagon makes it gone from the liver and the muscles straight into the blood. So that's a really nice, quick, easy way to be able to remember uh, what's going on in relation to insulin and glucagon. But really what you need to know is that insulin is the hormone that transfers the glucose, takes it out of our blood, pops it in the cells that we need it. You're going to need this for your exam, so make sure you revise on it. If you have any questions, pop a comment below and I will get back to answering you as much as possible. And also, if you haven't liked or subscribed our page yet, then please do that now. Have a lovely day and good luck with your exam. Take care.